I'm here with Mayor Rob Ford, also known as the coach of the TDCAA Senior Boys Champion, Don Bosco Eagles. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, as you know, the Office of Bills Toronto Bowl Series will be taking place at the Rogers Centre. What do you think that'll mean to the kids all across Southern Ontario to be able to play in the Rogers Centre two days after the uh, 100th Grey Cup? Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be a real experience. A lot of these kids, uh, even in, in my school, haven't even been downtown. But they uh, come from uh, areas that... Uh, you know, they don't have the advantage to go downtown and see what's going on. Never mind playing at Rogers Centre. Uh, they, they're going to be put so-called on the map. They're going to get the exposure they need to uh, hopefully get a scholarship and uh, get to the next level. And uh, get an education is the most important. But uh, this is where they get to show off their talent. And there's a lot of talent. Now, uh, I've seen personally the Rob Ford Foundation uh, help tons of schools yeah. in the city of Toronto get their football programs back on. And there's still high schools there that still don't know about the Rob Ford Foundation, how they can help them. So, uh, what, what can they you say? You just gotta call me. I, I uh, you know, obviously, I gotta continue to fundraise money, and the money goes to uh, purchase football equipment so the kids can have this experience, what you saw today. And um, these kids love it. Once you start a football program, um, believe it or not, they stay in school. And uh, they get better grades because they have to, because the football is what keeps them uh, together. and. Uh, they have to get their academics to play. So it's, it's a victory for everybody. It's a win-win right around. So it's uh, whoever, uh, whatever school wants to start a football program, I'm more than happy to uh, help them out. Now, do you have any sort of predictions on who you think will make it to the Metro Bowl? Oh, no, I don't, I don't make predictions. I just uh, will be ready to play next Friday, whoever it may be. And uh, for, for, for your kids especially, I, I remember two years ago you had just won the uh, election and they played the same team, Senator O'Connor. Lots. And lots. Yeah, the kids. How have they that. come a long way? Oh, they, they, that's what they were talking about all week. They just said, we're not losing this game again. They were determined. So, uh, but I want to wish Senator Connor all the best. They're a great team, great coaches. And uh, all, all the time that these coaches put in, the volunteers' uh, hours, is truly phenomenal. And um, it's like no other sport. Uh, they put hundreds of hours in the football. Every night they practice three hours. And uh, then you got to do a lot of work on the weekends. And uh, I just, I just want to thank all the coaches and volunteers for letting these kids uh, have a great experience.